Hi again, Panther fans, and welcome into this week's Inside Georgia State Football. We go behind the scenes and bring you up to date with what's going on with Georgia State football. Today, pleased to be joined by Jamal Paxton. Jamal, great to have you with us on the show this week. And exciting times uh, for you. You get ready uh, for the you know get ready for the season. And uh, this this football team coming off a bowl win last year, a lot of momentum coming into 2018 season. Yes, sir. We have uh, been working hard, ready to go. It's time. Time to play Kennesaw next week. Can't wait for it. Let's talk a little bit about your career football-wise. Well, you came out of Tucker High School, as did uh, your brothers. Uh, you were at Campbellsville University in Kentucky. What brought about your decision to transfer to Georgia State and continue the Paxton tradition here in Blue? Oh, yeah, I wanted to come here and play under my older brother because he's a big influence on me. So transferring wasn't really a hard choice for me. I just wanted to come back home and play under him. What was it like that first year as you made that transition from high school football to living away from home in Kentucky and playing college football at that level? Well, it was pretty hard, you know, uh, having to, you know, fan for yourself while you're out there. I had to uh, get a job and stuff like that. So it, it was difficult, but coming back home, is, is, it was great because I was welcomed here. You know, everybody knew me because of my older brother. So it was a pretty easy transition to come back here, though. But going there was tough. Nate's story is well known amongst Georgia State football fans. All of the uh, time and effort that he put in to making himself the player uh, that he was and is uh, with his time at Georgia State. Take me back to you watching him go through what he went through to become the player that he was here at Georgia State and how that kind of motivated you to, to work as hard as you have. Yeah, and watching Nate, it molded me. You know, I was there with him while a lot of things were happening. I was just going through it in high school and stuff like that. but. He, he never gave up every day, doing lots and lots of push-ups and stuff like that, waking up early, never being mad, always having a smile on his face, just always outworking people. And it just made me a better player because, like, watching him, you can't go through nothing worse than what he was going through at the time. So it, it, was, it was like a learning experience for me because, like, you got to push yourself even with adversity. So there's nothing to it now. And as proud as Jamal is of his older brother, Nate, we had a chance to talk to Nate as well. And Nate feels kind of the same way about his two younger brothers. You think back to uh, what you put in to become a football player at Georgia State. You, you kind of paved the way for uh, for your two younger brothers to do what they're doing today. Yeah, definitely, man. I just I just knew growing up that I had two younger brothers looking up to me, so I had to do everything the right way, work my way to get where I was and where I'm going. So. It definitely paid off because both of my brothers, they're being a huge success right now. Be honest with me. Tell me about how much fun and how intense the Nerf football games were for the three Paxton brothers back in the day. Man, it was crazy, man. Just the competition, just the junk talking. It, it was just amazing, man. Just everybody just having a great time, enjoying the competition. And this one, this game coming up, this is just going to be special. Very special. First time in history. Starting center for Georgia State football, what, is, what has that been like you journey-wise as uh, you've moved into that starting position and, you know, working as hard as you have to accomplish everything that you have here uh, you, since you've gotten to Georgia State? Uh, it was, it, at first, it was a difficult transition for me coming from playing defensive line, but uh, my older brother and Coach Robinson, he's not here no more, and Coach Williams, and Coach Elliott, everybody was helping me along the way, learn how to, you know, do, do the things fundamentally right, work hard at it. You know, don't look at it as a negative moving from defense to offense because it got me a scholarship and a starting position, which I'm very proud of, man. But it, it's a learning transition. I'm still learning right now. I'm getting a lot better, a lot better every day working with Coach Williams. How cool it'd be for you and your family the night of August 30th, Georgia State Stadium. You on one side, your brother on the <laughs> other side. Uh, a showdown of Paxton's in uh, Georgia State's first football game. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to go against my little brother. I've been waiting for that for years. <laughs> we had a chance to talk to your brother, Nate, about how fierce and fun and competitive those North football games must have been in the backyard growing up. We'll hear from him, but from your standpoint, how much fun was it? How competitive were those uh, football games between the three Paxton brothers growing up? It was very competitive. We all, I always wanted to beat Nate, and my little brother always wanted to beat me, but I'll, it's always the older brother I always win every time, so... You know, just being competitive, that, that's how we was raised. So it helped us throughout. But it was always competitive. I always beat Terrell, and they'd always beat me. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thanks for being with us, and uh, best of luck at the stadium on the 30th in the showdown of uh, Terrell and, uh, and Jamal. Thank you. All right, I want to thank Jamal Paxton joining us. That's Inside Georgia State Football this week. Back next week, we'll go behind the scenes of Georgia State University football.